let's come over to the winners. In the last few years, creating content, right? I started creating content in 2018 and creating content just by being monetized has been able to generate, I think around 50K. That's monetization income from creating nearly 700 plus videos, 700 or 800, I think is where I'm at now. Now, if we were to look at the overall business, um, I've been able to generate seven figures to date where content creation is like the fundamental like basis of being able to get in front of an audience to then provide different products and services along the way, right? So content creation itself, 50K, but it's part of a bigger pie in this that I've been able to generate seven figures. Next is coaching. Coaching, been able to generate 500,000. So nobody would know that I coach had I not created content. So that's why I'm saying like that that's the big reason why I'm at seven figures is because of content creation as a result of coaching someone that hired me, paid me money because they saw content, because they saw the education that I was putting out there, right? So I found that to be very, very valuable. It's a huge win. The amount of money that went in versus what came out, huge returns. Cannot complain. So coaching, that's financial coaching, that's consulting, that's business consulting, coaching, personal financial management, content creation coaching, coaching people on how to become a coach in the finance space, all that right around 500 plus thousand. Um, and we'll, we'll tie that together as well, which is course creation. So from the from creating content, people find out that I do one-to-one -one coaching. They find out that I have courses where it's DIY. So instead of hiring me, you could do it yourself by following my frameworks, by following my strategies that I've been able to successfully do for myself and uh, client case studies that you can learn from as well. So we'll put that together. 500 plus thousand is what that has produced. IBC don't know the total number. I have to double check it because we're at the top of the year. So I have to get the, the income generated from 2022. But I can tell you 2018 on IBC. So IBC Infinite Banking Concept. This is selling whole life insurance. So selling life insurance, life insurance, sales, product, whole life. Been able to generate multiple six figures. So 2018 was like a couple thousand, right? So we'll do... I think it was like 3000 plus something like that 2019 was 75k 2020 was a hundred plus thousand 2021 i believe was 150 2022 i think i'm around the same number i could be wrong it's either a little bit higher or most likely a little lower right? i didn't promote ibc as much as i did in the previous years Still, nonetheless, we're talking multiple six figures that that's been able to generate. So that's a huge win. Digital storefronts, that's Amazon Store, Shopify, Walmart. That is in partnership with my friend and business partner, Alex Albaran, who has helped quite a few of you watching, clients um, and some new people. You've been able to build these digital storefronts where you're generating passive income by providing products right that people buy that people need all day long so you're you're getting involved in the e-commerce online shopping space which is a 5 plus trillion dollar market and you're getting your little piece of that market which is huge cannot complain so i've made multiple thousands of dollars from promoting the service so i have a digital storefront i have a store where i have products merch I've only generated a couple hundred bucks, maybe like 200, if that. Haven't been promoting it as much yet. Still building it out, working out the kinks. But I've made thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars promoting the service. Does that make sense? So on, I'm on the affiliate and referral marketing side where I'm not actually providing this service, right? That's a business partner of mine providing that service. They pay me a commission to bring them a lead right? That converts into a sale. And they serve that client. They get results. They're making money, right? As for me personally, it's 2023. I've only made about maybe 200 or so dollars with my digital storefront, which I'm perfectly fine with. Because again, I'm not promoting it just yet. 
I'm slowly launching it out. That's not my main focus, but it's there. So anyone that come across my website and they're like, hey, do you have any merch or anything like that? I'm like, yeah, I got t-shirts. I got, you know, coffee mugs. I got book bags and, you know, all kinds of different knickknacks. What I'm doing is I'm building a financial clothing brand. So I'm making sure that I have the funds in different areas to support that little project. So that's how I view it right now. It's like a little project. Now, here are the potential winners that have a lot of potential. It's a company called Power that provides solar panels. So it's an online platform that has different services. One of their main products, one of their main services is solar panels, right? So I've got a link on my resources page regarding solar panels. So I have worked with quite a few clients that have obtained solar panels in the past and we're doing velocity banking on their solar panels, doing velocity banking on different debts. And then I get approached last year from someone in my church, her name is Maureen, and she presented the business model and I'm like, oh, this is a fantastic offering that my clients and new clients are already considering buying in the near future. Now I can offer it to them via another referral partnership affiliate program, all right? So there's already been some income generated, right? I've got, I've got one client so far, and the thing with solar panels, it's, it's a high ticket item. So there's room for a good amount of con- commission to be paid out, just like there is with life insurance, right? As well as a digital storefront store. So that's, that's a huge potential win there. It's not a winner yet, it has potential. I'm just starting it out, learning, getting all the the kinks again, learning the business model and that such. Next is EXP, which is a real estate platform. So Power is a platform. EXP is a platform. And it's really for uh, real estate agents, right? So real estate agents. My mom is a real estate agent through EXP. So she got her license through EXP, helped her with that. She's now able to generate an income helping people buy and sell homes, rent, right? So she's part of that real estate transaction. A lot of opportunity there. Finally is Better Wealth. Better Wealth is a name of a YouTube channel, but the person I'm really uh, collaborating with, his name is Caleb. He's the the CEO, you know, the founder, I want to say, of Better Wealth, the and asset. He wrote a book, phenomenal guy. Learning a lot from him and his team, people like Demetrius and and Jeremy, like learning a ton from these guys in terms of how they operate their finances for themselves, clients. They've got services like estate planning, tax planning, coaching, financial coaching. They do infinite banking, life insurance. They create content. They coach. They basically do a lot of what I'm doing just on a bigger scale with clients that make way more than my average clientele. So they're dealing with six, seven figure and up clients that have tax issues. They have a tax pain. Primarily, they also want to do infinite banking. They want to get that going. And so they have a really good business model and and I'm a client. So the reason why I'm saying it's a potential win, haven't made any money yet, right? By promoting their services, no money has been generated yet as I'm recording this video in February of 2023. We've been building out a program and relationship for the last six months, I think, or so. But I will be recovering quite a bit of money just by being a client on the tax side of things. So they're now doing my taxes. So there's a a segment in their company where they provide tax planning, tax coaching, services, filing, the whole nine, bookkeeping, accounting, the whole nine. So I got everything transferred over to them. They're going to be able to smooth that whole process for me, help me recover, save a lot more money on taxes. That's, I to me, that's already a win just by being a customer. So now I also have the opportunity because I create content, because I have a following, I have a loyal audience. I'm now able to push business over to them for clients that I have that are making multiple six figures a year that I have some clients doing seven figures. And I've been talking to them, you know who you are, where I'm asking questions like, hey, how confident are you about your tax strategy? Do you feel like you're paying a lot in taxes or do you know? Do you not know? Most don't. Most have no idea. Most just pay the bill and, you know, on with it. They avoid the headache. But understanding as a business owner and even as an, an individual, taxes is your number one expense in your life. So being able to reduce your tax liability 
is a huge form of cash flow recovery that could massively improve our velocity banking and infinite banking strategy. So it's a very unique service that I can add into finance geek territory, finance geek ministry, that again is going to be able to provide a stream of income to continue to do the, the projects and the things that I'm most passionate about. I don't have to worry about money because I got all these different income streams coming in from people who have businesses in their own gifts, skills, and talents that they've mastered in. And all I'm doing is creating content, promoting them, saying hallelujah, check them out. I'm a client. I got results. Check them out. That's all I'm doing, right? With the content that I create and then staying in my skills, gifts, and talents, the things that I've been called to do by the Father to fulfill His will here on earth and match that up with the, the purpose that I've been assigned with.